In this video I will show you how to make a simple relay oscillator. This is the symbol of a single pole double throw relay. It has the normally closed contacts, the normally open contacts and the coil that activates the contacts when it is energized. In order to work as an oscillator the relay must be wired as shown. The current flows from the battery through the coil then through the normally closed contacts and back to the battery. Since the coil is energized, the contact moves and this interrupts the flow of current. However, without current, the coil is de-energized and the contact returns to its original position. The current flows again and the cycle repeats again and again. I will use this 9 volt battery. The positive goes to one side of the coil and the negative terminal of the battery to the normally closed contact is this wire and the other connection is the other side of the coil to the common of the contacts so this is the common and the other side of the coil You can hear the sound of the relay that is oscillating. This noise comes from the mechanical sound of the contact that is moving from one side to the other. This apparently useless circuit can in fact be used to generate high voltage with the help of an ignition coil as you can see in the video that appears now on a screen and is also on the video description. In order to control the frequency of oscillation, we can add a capacitor in parallel with the coil. The capacitor will take some time to charge and this extra time will reduce the frequency of oscillation. We will also add a lamp as shown. When the capacitor is fully charged, the coil is energized and the contact moves. The lamp lights up using the energy stored in the capacitor. Now the capacitor starts to discharge. When its voltage is sufficiently low, the coil de-energizes and the contact moves to the original position and the lamp shoots off. Now the current flows again and the cycle repeats. I have added the capacitor to the circuit. I'm going to connect the battery. And you can hear how, how the frequency is much slower. Now, if we connect this little LED to the circuit, it will flash at the frequency rate. You can see how the LED turns off slowly as the charge in the capacitor is consumed. But if we put a larger lamp. I'm going to use this incandescent lamp that requires a higher current. The frequency goes up. Therefore, the frequency of oscillation depends on two things, on the capacitance of the capacitor and the current required by the lamp that we connect to the circuit. A larger capacitor will give a lower frequency and vice versa, and a larger lamp that requires higher amperage also makes the frequency go up. 